Hi, George here. And what we're going to do in this video is run through the pre-use check on a Covidian Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator. Now, before you do your pre-use checks on your ventilators, make sure you adhere to the safety precautions that you're supposed to follow wherever you're working and don the appropriate protective equipment that you require. Pre-use checks are usually done after the ventilator has been cleaned and recircuited to go on to a, a new patient or to be used with a new patient or if there's some issue with the ventilator's performance while you're using it on the, the same patient. Regardless, always make sure you're adhering to the proper safety precautions. So what I'm going to do is uh, use gloves for this video, but again, don whatever you need to before you do this check on your patient. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the ventilator on and we're going to take the safety plug or cap off the ventilator circuit and we'll run through the pre-use check. So you're going to see me kind of showing you the screen and then showing you some of the things that I'm doing on the ventilator while I do this pre-use check. So I'm going to take this off so the ventilator doesn't think there's a patient attached. And we're going to turn the ventilator on. And here's the on-off switch right down there. Let me just give you a better look at it. Right down here. So I'm going to turn this on. The wheels are locked so the ventilator isn't going to move anywhere. And I've already got the gases hooked up and the power hooked up at the back to the station outlets. So there we go. I'm going to turn the ventilator on. Let's zoom into the screen so you can see what it does as it starts up. You can hear a few sounds. So these soft keys here light up to let you know that it's on. Green light to tell you that it's good to go. And here it also has a little status indicator window for us as well. It says system initializing Covidian Pyramid 980 ventilator. Now on the screen I hope you can see it. Let's zoom in a little bit more. It says right over here, new patient, same patient, or SST. We're going to hit the SST button. So it brings up this screen. And I'm hoping you can read the yellow writing that is on there. But it says right over here, to run SSC, SST, touch run all SST. So we need to touch that. The other things that it says is when changing the circuit type, a full SST is recommended. Do not close the circuit until instructed. So we're going to run the SST. Then it says press accept to confirm the beginning of the SST. So we're going to do that. Now it says take a look at these things here. Adjust the settings as required. So the circuit type is the first thing it asks us about right over here. So we've got an adult circuit on our ventilator. So we're going to use and select adult. Humidification type, we do have, or the choices are non-heated expiratory tube, heated expiratory tube, or HME, which is a heat moisture exchanger. We have a heated expiratory limb on our ventilator, so we're, we've got that one highlighted. And then humidification volume, right down there. Take a look at your humidifier, it should say right on the pot what the volume is. And our, our ventilator, the circuit that we have, there's the pot down there. This is the MR980 or sorry, the MR280. So this has a volume of 290 mils. So what we're gonna do on our ventilator is we're going to select for that specific value, the 290, which is on there already. So we'll accept that. Now it goes into the mode for doing the actual SST. So it says connect circuit with inspiratory filter and without humidifier. So what I'm going to do is simply See where the gas comes out of the unit, right down there? I'm going to grab the circuit portion that is attaching to the humidifier here. I've taken it off the humidifier and I'm simply attaching this now to the inspiratory filter. Now this end down here, I'm going to reattach back to the humidifier just so it stays nice and clean. So you can kind of see in that shot how it's in that little loop there. Right? So once we've done that, we go back to our SST. I wish I was better at that. Okay, I'm going to hit accept because we've done that. Next thing it says down there in yellow, it says block Y. So I'm going to take the patient Y right over here and I'm going to cap it and hit accept. Now it's running through the next test that it's doing and what it's looking at is it's testing the oxygen. 
So getting gas to come in from the uh, high pressure hose via the station outlet and it's doing a test on the oxygen supply. Now it sets, gives you some information right over here. It gives you a value of, uh, how, of the uh, test as it's ticking down and it also tells you how long before the data is going to be displayed. So it just finished testing the oxygen, now it's going to test the air system of the ventilator. So it's doing all this while it's bypassed the humidifier. So all you need to do is just wait for it to complete its test and as it ticks down and does its test it'll tell you to do a few other things and eventually let you know after you've gone through all the different stages of the uh, test that it does in the SST whether you pass the SST or not. And this is what we would do before we place this ventilator on a patient. So now it says in yellow connect the humidifier if applicable. So what we're going to do is we're going to pan down, we're going to disconnect from the inspiratory filter our circuit, we're going to reattach our circuit to our humidifier pot and while maintaining cleanliness again attach up that short hose to the inspiratory limb. Make sure all your circuits components are nice and tight. So we've reconnected the humidifier and it says at the top of our screen there it says connect the humidifier if applicable. So we've done that, hit accept. Now it's only got a few more seconds here to complete the test and then it'll tell us whether our flow sensor has in fact worked or passed the test. So it says pass. Now it's going to do the next test which is SSTEV performance. <clears throat> it only takes a few seconds for it to do this test and hopefully it'll pass and let us know right over there on our screen. Yeah, passed, which is good. Keep on trucking. Circuit pressure. It's going to pressurize the circuit. That test passed. Now it's going to do the leak test. Let's see what happens here. Watch it pressurize. So it's pressurized all the way up to almost 90 centimeters of water pressure. Now if you see this number come down really, really slowly, like it is, that means you're probably going to pass your your leak test. And it's coming down really slowly, so it's going to pass. So, yep, yeah, it says it passed. Now it says disconnect the circuit at the expiratory filter. What that basically means is you want to take the circuit off where it attaches to the expiratory side right here. Now make sure when you're taking this off that you don't contaminate your circuit. So leave it in a way that it's not going to get dirty with something. Okay, now let's just go back to the screen. So we've done that, we'll hit accept. Now it's running through its exhalation filter test. Now it says reconnect, it says here reconnect the circuit at the expiratory flow. So now I'm simply going to take that expiratory limb down there and reattach it where it's supposed to be. Okay, so it's on there. Now what we can do is we can hit accept because we've done that. So hit accept and follow the directions that it tells you on the screen. So it passed the exhalation valve test. Now it's moving on to the circuit resistance test. And you can see the time is ticking down right over there. That's not much time before we get the data displayed. Unblock Y. So I'm going to unblock the Y. Hit accept. ticking down while it does the resistance test. So it passed the resistance test and tells us what the resistance of the circuit is. Now uh, the last test is the circuit compliance test. So it says to block the patient Y, so we're going to block that off again, make sure it's nice and tight. And hit accept. Is water in here the humidifier? That's what it's asking us now. Yes. So. We'll accept that. <clears throat> so now it's checking the compliance of the, the circuit. 
And that helps the ventilator to compensate for any kind of tubing compliance of a circuit. Almost done. Unblock Y. So we're going to uncap that. Hit accept. It's doing its final part of the test. And it passed. So essentially now it has passed the SST. So what we can do at this point in time, if we're going to ventilate a patient, we just simply hit this tab right over here, which says patient setup. And it takes us into this screen where we can now choose either a new patient, same patient, or if there is an issue, we could rerun the SST. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we could go to new patient. Now it allows us to select the ideal body weight of the patient or the gender. So if you wanted to use ideal body weight, you could do that right over there. Use your knob to adjust. Let me sec here. Use your knob to adjust your values. And then you can choose all the different options that it allows you to choose when you're setting up your ventilator. And we'll go through that in another video. So essentially that is how you view the SST on your ventilator, your short self-test or your pre-use check on your ventilator on the Covidian Current Bennett 980 ventilator. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. But again, please give me some suggestions on how I can make this video more appeasing or better for you. Anyways, this is George. I hope you have a great day. Till next time, be safe wherever you are in this world. Take care. Have a good day.